How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Coaster Extra. In today's video we are going to be operating Apocalypse at Drayton Manor on Ride Sims 2. If you do enjoy today's video please leave a like and consider subscribing. I really really do appreciate it and it really helps out the channel. And also um, there is a link to my discord server in the description. It'd be really nice if you can join that. It will have a great community of coaster enthusiasts and you can talk to your heart's content about coasters. Without any further ado though, let's get straight into operating this drop tower. Okay, so you can see from my screen it's up here. Now last week, or not quite, but last week we operated Stealth at Thorpe Park and that was an easy level simulation. Now this is a hard level simulation, so some of the stuff I'm going to be doing is going to be a lot more complex. But don't worry, I've um, I've played this sim a few times before, so I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to be struggling and learning with you. So, to start, we're just going to look. There is a whole manual for this ride. Literally a whole manual. So, I've read that through, because it would be a bit boring if you had to do that. So, we're going to start operating the ride. So, we've got to go to this little button here and turn on the power. And we're going to reset the emergency stop and turn on the air compressor. Then we've got to turn on each section of the tower. So there's five different drop tower modules on the tower of this ride. So we're going to turn each one on and also set each one to manual mode. Oh, they're going to auto, are you? Okay, we're going to set them to manual. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to have to test the ride before we open it to the public because that's what you do in a real park. So to do that, we are going to jump right in to a time lapse. just finished our first test run and now we have got a warning okay so one of the restraints have has got stuck closed and I've been trying to open them so we have to set the ride to individual mode raise the car slightly and then we have to return the car into the station again okay so what restraint is stuck closed this one here that I believe is tower 3 so we are going to go up into here and turn it to individual mode like we did before. Okay, so we're on tower three and we're going to just move the car up slightly and move it back down just to try and reset the system. There we go, the restraints opened. Okay, so we're going to set it back to all and do a bit more testing, I guess.
so we have just been doing some testing and it went smoothly apart from that one error that we did cover so that should be okay we've done a couple more drops after that so everything's going to be safe so we're going to open the ride to people and to do that we're going to click on this panel open each tower or each side of the tower I should say and then we're going to open the queue for each tower side so you might wonder why are three four and five grouped and one and two grouped there and then they've got separate queues well I will show you now so as you can see we're on the three four and five side so what you may notice is these aren't actually proper seats these are standing up drops so this and this so tower side three and four you stand up with the floor and restraints you stand up on the drop tower now tower five or tower side five has no floor but you're still standing up the restraint does all the work in holding you in which is insane like that must be such an intense experience and now we're going to spin over to side one and two there we go and you can see these are normal standard sitting seats I like being on side three and four and five though because you can see more of the actual um, ride which helps you visualize if there are any errors a bit easier okay so people are starting to fill up into the queue but we are going to cut to when we have a few more guests in the queue. Okay, so we have got a few more guests in the queue now. Not loads, but it does take a while for this ride to fill up. It is, of course, very thrilling. It's a big drop tower. I'll get more into that later, though. So I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing. So I'm going to open the gates to guests so they can go onto the ride. They can board, okay? So... All the guests are boarding and you can see these guests are stood up with a no floor which is it, so intense i don't know why anyone would want to do that in real life even me so i'm going to close the gates now and we're going to lock the restraints and now what we're going to do is we are going oh okay so we've got a slight error with tower side two the restraints haven't properly closed, so we're going to open the restraints back up and relock them. Okay, now we've got all greens down here. Now we are going to set the seat height so that the guests are comfortable. So it's just setting the restraint to the exact height of the guest. So we've done that, and now we're going to check. And a little dude comes along and he checks all the restraints, which is really cool. I love that animation. And now we are going to um, make the ride go up for its big drop. So these little yellow things on every side are little catch cars. And they hook on to the bits with the guest. And they lift it up. And then when it gets to the top... The, it unhooks so the guests fall down and then they hit these brake fins and they're safe of course so we are going to send it up and you get all the sirens going around it's really cool pretty accurate to real life as well so up it goes and we'll starts off slow but you got to bear in mind how big of a drop tower this is so yeah, this ride is manufactured by Intamin. It's their Mega Drop model. And, um, yeah, it's 177 foot high, which is... It's pretty huge. I've never been on this ride. I've actually never been to Drayton Manor since I've been a thrill seeker. When I was very, very young, I went with my family and... The, my dad went on some of the thrilling rides he actually went on this one he said it was really scary so yeah that's interesting um one thing that i've noticed as this has been going up though is that this catch car is going very very slow so we can do something about that in a minute we'll just let these guys stand up for their <laughs> for ages give them a nice view probably terrified up there but it is what it is and once this hooks on we're going to tilt the seats over 
So they are now tilted forwards, looking at the ground a bit. And drop. And down it goes. There's actually little cameras at the top. And they take your photo in real life and in ride sims, apparently. Which is really cool. And now we're going to open all the restraints. And that's their ride cycle. Now, one thing that I mentioned is that um, this car was going very slowly up and it didn't reach the top before any of the others. It was going very slowly. So what we're going to do is once the catch car gets into the station, we're not going to load the guests yet. We're going to do a little bit of maintenance on this car because it's been going very slowly and that's not good. So, we, yeah, we, we want to maximise capacity, so we've got to keep them running quick. Okay, so the catch car is going to hook on, as you just saw. And now we're going to service tower side 4, which is the side that we are on. So now it's been serviced and the catch car motor is back to full speed, which is wonderful. So now we can load guests back on to the right. Here we go. And close back the gates, lock the restraints. So yeah, this this is a massive drop tower, 177 foot. It's not certainly not the tallest in the world, but it's it's big enough to provide a massive thrill. So it it certainly is one of the iconic rides at Drayton Manor. It's been there since about 2000, the year 2000. So it's, it's getting old now, but. It's regarded by thrill seekers as one of the best drop towers in the UK or even in the world. Some people think, but it it does pack it does clearly pack a punch because this thing, yeah, as I mentioned, is one hundred seventy seven me foot foot tall. One hundred seventy seven meters would be a very tall ride. Um, no, it's one hundred seventy seven feet tall, and that equates to about fifty four meters roughly. And as it plummets down to the ground, it takes that height. Oh, okay. You can see how fast this is going up now. But yeah, it takes 177 feet. It, it takes about four seconds for it to drop. So that's four seconds of free fall. That is tremendously thrilling. So yeah, I've been on a few drop towers. I do enjoy them. <laughs> I do get a little scared depending on how high they are, but that's kind of the fun of it. You want a thrill. That's what thrill seekers want, a thrill. <laughs> so it's it certainly is a good ride. And we're going to untilt the seats again. There we go. Yeah, no, I haven't been on this. I'd love to, but I haven't. If I ever do get the chance to go to Drayton Manor, I'm definitely going to go on the ride. <laughs> Maybe not the standing up floorless seats, but... I, w I will try at least one of the sides of the ride. Now I noticed that car 3 is actually going slowly now. So we're going to service that one once the catch car gets into the station. There it is, it's hooked right on. And here you go, tower 3, service. It's been serviced now and the catch car motor is back to full speed. That is great. Okay, so we're going to load more guests onto the ride, more guests that are wanting the thrill of this. Yeah, a few drop towers I've been on. Um, I've been on Magma at Portons Park. I've been on a few of the smaller ones at Portons Park when they were there. But I've also been to Thorpe Park, of course, and I went on Detonator. And the first time I went on Detonator, I was proper scared. That was thrilling because if you don't know detonator at thought park actually launches you downwards so it's faster than free fall which is quite unique actually at least in the uk um yeah that one over there is manufactured by fabri but that's definitely the best drop tower that i've been on so far but I, i'd love to go in some more as i said if i do ever get the chance to go to drayton manor again I certainly will ride on this. It looks such a fun ride. Thing with Drayton Manor is after the removal of G Force, um it, it's a bit bare, like it's only got shockwave, this is a major coaster, and then this is a major ride. 
I mean, there's a few other major rides. I'm not saying that's all it has. But, you know, you can get more of a full package from other theme parks. Like Alton Towers, which is close to it. And I have been to Alton Towers only once. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. So, one of the rides has failed to drop. Now, this is not good at all. So, what we're going to do is we need to e-stop the ride. So, boom. In fact, boom. There we go. E-stopped. Okay. Now, we're going to just take this camera and we're going to move it up to the top here. Just so we can see the passengers up there. We're very sorry that you're stuck. Sorry. Um, okay, so we need to now restart the ride. Turn the compressor back on. Turn on all the tower sides again. Because we've just e-stopped it, which has shut down the entire power to the ride. And now... We are not going to give them the drop. Are we going to give them the drop? I'm not sure, actually. How is this going to work? Ah, oh, we need to get it to individual. That's it. <laughs> I forgot for a bit there. This doesn't happen often. Okay, so... Oh, didn't mean to do that. We're going to go on to tower side four. There we go. And we're going to lower the car down. We're not going to drop them. Sorry guys on there, you don't get the full package of your ride, but you know, you'd much rather be safe, so. Just getting lowered down slowly. There we go. Nice and safe. Back to the station. That probably gave them a fright. <laughs> Stuck 180 foot in the air. Pretty intense up there okay that's back in the station we're gonna open the restraints for in fact not just that we're gonna put it back to the grouping of all and we're gonna open the restraints all of the restraints there we are all the restraints have opened these guests don't need to get off because they haven't actually had a proper ride so they can stay on and we're going to open the gates for the rest of the ride so that they can ride back on. Honestly, if I were the people in that queue next to go on and I'd just notice one of them getting stuck, I'd be pretty scared. But, you know, you've queued, you might as well go on. Locking up the restraints. And we are going to set the seat height, check the restraints. There we go. And hold on a minute. Oh, are we only sending this one. <laughs> what? Oh, that is so strange. I didn't know you had to do that. Okay, so this one's going up. None of the others are because these guys need to get their ride first okay that is strange i've never had this problem in the simulator before so i kind of had to go through it for the first time so i'm pretty confused actually here it is though it's going up so that is it's good at least it's functioning now at least it should be oh why are you going up okay can I can I see it please thank you <laughs> it's going up without me without the camera I should say there it is and drop there we go they've actually got their ride properly this time Way. Okay, we're going to send the catch cars down. In fact, then these people are going to get another ride, aren't they? Yeah, because then these people haven't loaded. 
Oh. I didn't send the catch cars down for the rest of them. What am I doing? I didn't send all the catch cars down. Ah, oh, well, we'll do this as our last drop and then we'll end the video there. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I forgot to put down the catch cars. It's not going to lift up without the catch cars. They're the things with the motors. Okay, right, let's try this again. And these people are getting another ride. This is their third, third go up the tower. And obviously only their second drop, but still. That is, that's very nice, okay. So this is gonna be our last cycle of the ride. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, and you've watched until here, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out so much, more than you can imagine. And I really do appreciate it, trust me. It makes me so happy when I see a new subscriber pop up or another like. So, without any further ado, we are going to drop this ride as soon as we can. That's going to be the end of the video. As I said, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Join my Discord if you haven't already. Link's in the description. And good. Bye.